Hey, what is up, guys? Welcome back to another YouTube video at the World of AI. In today's video, we're going to be taking a look at Llama 2.0. Basically, this is the latest generation of an open source large language model that has been developed by Meta AI. And basically, this version of Llama introduces a significant advancement, which offers a collection of pre trained as well as fine tuned language models that range from a size of 7 billion parameter tokens all the way to 70 billion. Now, this increase in parameters allows these models to understand and generate more complex language patterns which makes it more powerful and versatile in various natural language processing tasks now in today's video we're going to be showcasing how you can actually download this model uh, we're going to take a look at the actual model and look at some of the advancements of this new version of llama we're also going to take a look at the benchmarks and take a little bit more look in as to the research paper so we can get a better understanding of llama 2.0 lastly we'll take a look at the demo as to showcase what the actual true capabilities are of this new large language model so with that thought guys it'd mean the whole world to me if you guys can go on twitter follow world of ai if you guys haven't already i'm going to be posting the latest ai news over here so i highly recommend that you do so uh, if you guys haven't subscribed it would mean the whole world to me if you guys can do so uh, i'm going to be posting the latest ai content in terms of videos over here uh, i've been posting a lot of content that you will definitely love so if you guys have the time i highly recommend that you check out many of these previous videos as there's a lot of knowledge and a lot of content that you will definitely benefit from so with that thought guys make sure you subscribe turn the notification bell like this video and let us get on with the video now this new improvement signifies the progress that is made in natural language understanding and generation which highlights the effectiveness of fine-tuning approach that is actually used in the llama 2 project now, one significant aspect that is addressed in the development of Llama 2 is safety. They've emphasized this a lot, and this is something that you can take a look at in the research paper as you'll get a better idea of this. And what they've basically done is that they implemented several safety improvements in Llama 2 chat, which basically ensures responsible AI development. Now, safety in language models is crucial and it prevents harmful and biased output that could negatively impact the user. I emphasize this a lot with Poison GPT as well as worm gpt in this video so if you guys haven't seen this i highly recommend that you do so for your own safety when using these models as i talk a little bit about how you can actually prevent yourself now let's take some time to emphasize the advancement of llama 2. we can see in this blog post if you take the time to read it that there is something that is being very very easily noticed and that is the advancement in terms of the data scale and the context that is being compared to llama 1 which is the original model that was developed by meta ai but basically this pre-trained model in llama 2 has been trained on a huge data set of 2 trillion tokens now for the people who do not know tokens are the divisional units of language such as like words subwords or even like training on vast corpuses of data that actually allows the model to learn from a diverse range of like patterns and structures and it basically helps it function and have proper conversations with people but one of the most improvements that are notable in llama 2 is the expansion of context length now i don't know if you guys noticed but in llama 1 there was a huge debate as to the context length that was being outputted with their chatbots and basically it's something that is processed with better functionalities as well as better capabilities of the model but in llama 2 we can see that with the pre-trained models they have been able to double the context length of llama 2 which basically means that they're able to take in account a much larger portion of the input text and they're able to output way more now this extended context is able to enable the model to better capture long range dependencies and they're able to contextualize and understand the language way better which basically leads to more of an accurate and coherent response during the actual conversations. Now in addition to this, you're able to see that Llama 2 chat models have been able to undergo fine tuning using over 1 million human annotations. Now, fine tuning is a process basically where the pre trained language models is able to further specialize on a specific task or a data set. Now, in this case, we are able to see that Llama 2 chat is able to utilize the models and have a fine tuned using human annotated data to excel in dialogue based applications. Now, there's a lot more information on this on the research paper. So, if you want to get more idea 
more ideas as to what they've accomplished in terms of its advancements, I highly recommend that you do so by reading this research paper so you can get a better idea. They were able to fine tune with human annotations, which was able to actually provide the model with examples of dialogues and interactions. And this basically helped create and validate the human's annotations with different types of processes that help the model to adapt with conversational behavior with humans. So you're basically making this model way smarter with these new token sets as well as these new annotations that are being set for the model. The LAMA2 pre-trained model evaluation showed impressive results. Now the model was actually trained on a vast amount of data which we talked about previously which was basically 2 trillion tokens and their context length was like doubled to the size of what it originally was with Llama 1 and from this we we're able to see that Llama 2 was able to outperform other open source language models in reasoning, coding, proficiency as well as knowledge test and this is something that you can take a look at on the research paper where you're able to take a look at the pre-trained model evaluation. Now this evaluation process began with pre-training Llama 2 on a publicly available online source to learn general language patterns. Then it basically used a dialogue focused version called Llama 2 Chat which was fine-tuned using supervised methods where human annotated data helped the model in excelling with dialogue tasks. And this is where the utilization of 1 million annotations were inputted to help with this fine-tuning process. Now, to further refine this, they were actually using a reinforcement learning with human feedback. And this is something that many of the models do, but this was able to include rejection sampling as well as utilizing policy optimization and from this, they were able to allow the model to continuously improve based off the human evaluations that were set. And this is why it was actually able to perform so well compared to many of these other open source models. You can see this data that's posted on the research paper. So if you want to get a better idea of the comparison, as well as where it excelled in different criteria and categories, such as like code, you should definitely take a look at this research paper to get a better idea. Now guys, if you are to download this model off of Hugging Face, you'll notice that you're not actually able to download it. And this is because you need to be approved with Meta to actually install it for commercial as well as for research use. So what you need to do is click on the download button as you go on AIMeta.com, Llama. And once you click on the download, you'll need to input your first name your last name, your email, your country, as well as your organization. And from this, you need to agree with the licensing policies as well as the other policies that they have stated. Once you have accepted it, it will take from a range of two hours all the way to two days. So keep that in mind and it should be processed fairly soon. But at the current moment, it's going to be quite hard to get a spot to download this because there's a lot of people that are requesting it. So keep that in mind. But once you have that approved, you just have to accept and continue and in a couple days or a couple hours you might be able to download it easily off of the model card on hugging face but you can see you're able to download the 7 billion one you have the 13 billion one as well as the 70 billion one and you have the llama 2 version as well which i want to emphasize and clarify a little bit because they released two different versions Firstly, they released Llama 2, which is the updated version of Llama 1, and it's basically a new mix of publicly available data. And secondly, they released Llama 2 Chat, which is the fine-tuned version of Llama 2, and it basically has been optimized for dialogue use cases, which we talked about previously, where it could be used for a chatbot or for basic conversation systems. Now, if you want to get a better idea of this, I highly recommend that you check out Llama 2's demo, which I'll leave a link in the description below so you can get a better idea of it. Basically, I asked it, write a poem in 50 words, and it did it very, very fast, and I was able to get this amazing poem. Then I asked it, what is the difference between Llama versus Llama 2 by Meta? And we were able to get a list of key differences between the two aspects. You can basically see that it has a better conversation aspect compared to Llama 1. You can ask it things, ask it to do things, make an email. For example, I can say, write an email to my boss saying that I won't be able to make it in as I am sick. And we can see right here, it'll take a couple seconds and we can see this example being generated very, very fast. It's 
way more better in terms of its conversation aspect and you're able to see that there's better generation compared to llama one so this is something that i have a lot of respect as they were able to release this with a commercial purpose and this is something that i really really love about this amazing project that they've been working on so a huge props to them as to releasing this it's great to see that they're releasing open source projects like this and they're advancing on such things like this now in conclusion guys, Llama 2 was able to represent a significant step forward in the field of natural language processing tasks as well as AI research as a whole as its powerful and optimized dialogue methods and this new language model is definitely going to be very very helpful for a lot of different people as it's going to be free for research and commercial use. So I hope you found this video very helpful. I highly recommend that you play around with this as it's incredibly good. So. If you want me to actually take play around and download or showcase you something with Llama 2, definitely comment down that in the description below. And I hope you got some sort of value out of this. It'd mean the whole world to me if you guys can go on Twitter, follow World of AI if you guys haven't already. If you guys haven't subscribed, please do the same. Turn on the notification bell, like this video. And with that thought, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. It really, really means a lot to me. I highly appreciate it. Make sure you spread positivity. Always have a smile and I'll see you guys very shortly. Peace out, fellas.